Jess and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you some thrifted decor items I've gotten just over the past couple months. It's kind of a collective haul. One thing I haven't shared on my channel but I've kind of hinted at maybe a few times is I'm really into thrifting. I go basically like every week at this point and now that I'm moving and I kind of want a few cute knickknacks in my house, I've been looking for stuff like that just to make my house look a little more styled and have a little bit more personality than just being straight up furniture. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple months. I mostly went to Goodwill. Basically whenever I saw Goodwill, I was like, hey, can we stop there to my husband? So mostly Goodwill. I went to a couple antique stores. They were like thrifty antique stores though, not like the really high-end ones. And then I also went on Facebook Marketplace for a couple things I'll show you at the end. But I'm really excited to share this with you. I think that thrift stores are an awesome way to get a really unique style in your house and make it a little more eclectic and not, you know, super cookie cutter, I guess. So I'm excited to show you what I found. Let's get started. Okay, so where to start? I think I'm gonna start with some stuff I got from Goodwill, but I'll be bouncing all over throughout this because it, it's just kind of been shoved in a closet for like a month. So the first thing I got is this basket. It's a hyacinth basket and it's kind of a small size, but I cannot get enough of hyacinth baskets. I have them throughout my house and this one was only $1.99, you know, literally anywhere. I think they're cute. I also got this square vase, nothing too exciting at all. I see these all the time at Goodwill though, but I actually, I watch Mikkel Jancy Smith's videos and she mentioned that she likes to make flower arrangements by adding tape in a grid pattern on it so that she can pick, place the flowers in there and it just makes it look like really custom and high end and I was like, oh now I have to get a vase like that and it was only $1.99. I also got another vase that I could probably do the same thing with except this one is bamboo and it's round and I like it because it kind of has like a diagonal angle that makes it kind of unique. This was $2.99 based on the tag also Goodwill. So then I got a lot of containers because I just can't get enough of them, but I don't have enough things that need to be contained. So I also got this piece of pottery, which I've been really into like pottery and just any like different textures I'm obsessed with. So I got this piece of pottery and I was like, whoa, this is so cool because it's like very handmade and like high end and cool. And it's like terracotta with like black on the bottom. And the funny thing is, is it's actually handmade by someone named Rickert in 1983. So this could have been like something someone gave their mom. I don't know, but I was like, that's, that's, that's pretty cool that I have someone's random piece of family pottery. I thought that was really neat. And then I also went to this super local thrift store to me. It, I think it's even like family owned and it was just in a warehouse basically. And I found these books that I'm really excited about. I thought that they would be such good coffee table books because they just have like this really big picture on the front, ones of wild Alaska and one is of the High Sierra. But when you open it, I'll show you High Sierra. It just has these really, really pretty photos. I mean, the rest is words, but the beginning has these really pretty photos that I thought were just super cool. And what's cool too is this is published in the 80s, so it's kind of vintage as well. So the photos are kind of old school and yeah, I really like these and I thought that they were cool coffee table books and I got them for $2 a piece. Really good for coffee table books because those can get oddly expensive. Another thing I got at Goodwill was this lamp here and this was definitely, yeah, it's Walmart brand. So it wasn't like too expensive to begin with, but I got it for, I don't even know how much I got it for. It was definitely like five bucks or less, but it's pretty simple. It just has like this neutral base. I thought the zigzags were cute and everything. I thought, can't beat it for the price. And then to go with it, um, because it didn't have a lampshade. This was, I believe on another day I found this, but I found, oh, here you go, sweetie. Uh, it was only $1.99 and it's just a little lampshade. Didn't come together or anything, but you know, that will look good together. You can definitely find stuff like this at Goodwill all the time. I'm like 
advocating goodwill so hard right now. I think it's just because I find so many good things there. I don't always need them though. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So now it's like to the point that I'm offering to other people like, hey, can I shop at Goodwill for you? Because I just don't need as much stuff as I wanna get. I also got this little candle holder. This is from Hobby Lobby originally. It was $8, but I got it for $1.99. And it's just this mustard color. It's kind of distressed looking, but I thought it was cute. And I'm trying to incorporate more color into my living room. Not that this is like a bold color at all, but it is mustard and I like that color. So I got this little guy and then I also on that same trip I got this other piece of pottery also Honestly could have been handmade not sure whoever is making this pottery is a lot more talented than I am <laughs> But it's a uh, $2.99 and I thought it would be also like a cute little jewelry dish I need more of those like just throughout my house to make sure I take off my wedding ring before I wash my hands and stuff like that But yeah, I thought this one was really cute and it kind of looks like a little flower Then I also got this bad boy. It was $5 they couldn't tell me enough that it was $4.99. I think it's plastic to make made to look like wood. It truly fooled me when I bought it though, because I definitely thought this was wood until just now. I'm like, mm, that's not wood. But I thought it was cool and it would look good on like a shelf or just add some height to a display. I always struggle with that. I have like a lot of short stubby things. But I don't have anything to add height to my bookshelves or end tables or anything like that. So I thought this would be good for it. Yeah. Okay, man, I didn't realize how much stuff I got. It will be put to good use. I also got this plate. It's this little tray. Again, like trays, they add a little bit of a dimension to little displays and everything. And this one has a little fishy on it. And it was only 99 cents. So kind of cool goes with things. I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more black so that I have more of a grounding neutral in my living room. And I thought that this would go with it well. My camera shut off, so my camera angle might have changed a little bit, but let's uh, keep going. So I also got this piece of pottery as well. Again, can't get enough of it. I liked it because it had this little handle. These are like so in right now, which is kind of funny. They're kind of like give off a saloon, you know, like this is my spittoon vibe kind of deal, but I think it's cute. So I got it. I might paint it actually like a matte color, but I also like the terracotta color. So we'll see, but this was $4.99. So like this, I also got another little like jewelry tray type deal. I love this one because it's definitely like solid wood and it was only $1.99. Definitely something that I could put my ring in when I'm washing dishes or whatever, or just very little and cutesy, or even like could put cotton rounds in this or something like that. So I love this. Also on the same thread, I don't know if I realize how many like little containers I got. I just, I love things that just look like they're smaller than they should be, you know, like can't get enough of it, clearly. So I got this one too. This one's a little different though, cause it's like mixed materials. So it's concrete and then a bamboo top. It was only $1.99, also very cute, love that. And then I got this, this little skinny tiny vase. It's like the width of my finger basically. But this I thought would be good for like just a couple little flowers or like those long, what do you call them? They're like those little pompous grass. But you know, like I can put that in here and it has a skinny vase so we'll keep all the sims together and then we'll flare out at the top. Or I could use this for a uh, little, what do you call them? Oh my gosh. A propagate. Or I could use it to propagate a plant perhaps. So yes, she's cute. Ooh, okay, this was all stuff I 100% forgot about. I'm embarrassed. This is another little tray. It's $1.99, it is cute, it is wooden, and it is originally from Pier 1 Imports, which is overpriced as heck. This one's only $1.99 though, so she, she came home with me. I also, oh geez. small tray, but this one's marble. So 
It's unique. Part of me wonders if this was for cigarettes at one point. For me, it's not though. So, and this was $4.99, so a little bit pricier, but love marble, love natural materials, and it's a diamond shape, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these. Any ideas? Comment down below, let me know. I just, I can't resist the small little cutesy things. And containers, love my containers. Okay, I also got this trinket, which I just thought was cute and kind of funny. It's a cat. I, I promise not all my decor is cat related. It's just like, if it's cool and it happens to be a cat, far be it for me to not get it. And it's brass and it has a weird looking face. And it even has a tail in the back, like, so cute. I thought it would be, again, cute on a little bookshelf. You could even hold up a book with this because this little guy is pretty, pretty sturdy. So only $1.99 for that one. And then I got, where is this from? You know what? Don't know where this is from. I thought this was a really cute mug. It's ceramic and has this marble look to it. Lots of different neutral colors and it was $1.99 and I love getting mugs at thrift stores. I normally go for like weird ones that have odd phrases, but this one is just like a cute, like putting out on display type of mug. And then I also got this round piece of wood. Why you ask? Well, I did recently, not recently, a few months back, make a video showing how to make a wall hanging and I used a round piece of wood. Round pieces of wood can be a little bit more expensive, but this one was only $4. It's a really good size and I actually thought I could get some long legs and attach it, stain it like I love to do, and then make it a plant stand. I have a cat, so, and she's mischievous and will try to eat plants if I leave them out on the ground in like normal size plant stand and I don't really want to splurge on a whole table for a plant, no offense to my plants. So I thought, oh, I can make one out of this piece of wood here because it's kind of a perfect plant stand size and it's kind of thick. I'd say it's like, I don't know, like an inch and a half thick as well. So yeah, love finding little like project pieces, DIY pieces at thrift stores because I'm trying to find a place to put it, but my bed is filling up. I love finding DIY elements at thrift stores because a lot of times they're like way, way cheaper. Okay, so the next couple pieces I have are actually from an antique store that is near me. And the first thing I got was this brass plate. The guy there is much more culture than I and told me like, hey, this is actually based off of a real famous painting. I think it was an English guy. It's called Whistler's Mother is the painting. And then someone transcribed it onto this brass plate and it's like actually etched in there. So it's very fancy fancy. And it has a little bit of tarnishing going on, which I, I like, I think it adds character. So I thought that this was really cute and very unique. And then I also at this antique store, oddly enough, I found some linen napkins. They're this really pretty blush color and six napkins for five bucks, which I think is a good deal because a lot of times napkins this large can be like two or three bucks a piece. So very good deal. So excited about those because I also need more fabric napkins. My husband is a fabric napkin addict, so gotta feed that addiction. And then the next few things I have are just books. I really like decorating with books. I think that it adds good height. I mostly go based on just how pretty the outside is. So this first one I have is a little bit larger. It's leather and tan and it has gold on it. So I thought it was really pretty and it's definitely older. I love looking at the year. 1966 was its copyright year because my mom would always do that. So then there's this book. It's kind of this burnt orangey color, recurring color I have going on. It was, I'm not even sure, probably like 99 cents. So there's this one. And these you can just find at any thrift store. It's fun because it's like a really easy decor thing you can find. And there's often like all kinds of books like these. This one is gray and has kind of a ready burnt orange color to it. Then there's this one, which is really cool. I think it's, uh, what is this? I don't really know what this is, but the book is really pretty. It has like leaves into it and it's textured. It kind of feels like, mm, like paper mache is how it feels. And then it has leaves in it and it's a uh, off-white color. 
And then these three I found out at Goodwill in a town a little bit away from me, but we were passing through, so I made my husband stop. And I found this one with this print, and it's black on the side and has green. So cute. They're even cuter together, too. This one that's mustard and brown. And then this one that's green and burnt orange with polka dot. I could have scooped up all these. I kind of had to be picky about it because I didn't want to steal them all, but... Oh! They were $1.99 a piece. I did pay for them, but you know, they're so cute. Everyone should get one. And then the last couple items I have are kind of larger, but I got this really cool large mirror. It's rounded on top and it's totally wood on the side. It's kind of like an old like 90s type finish because it's kind of speckled. So my plan is to restain it or sand it down and then restain it. And then I think it will look a little bit more modern. And I got this one for only 10 bucks. I also got these two nightstands on Facebook Marketplace. It was my first time using Facebook Marketplace and it was a good experience. I got both of these for 50 bucks. I thought it was good, totally solid wood. I think they're definitely vintage, maybe even like mid-century modern, like literal mid-century modern, which is cool. And I like the chevron wood on the front. One of them is a little tarnished on top, has a little bit of staining water damage, but it's really not bad in my opinion. I, I think it will be really cute. So super excited about those. Okay. Hey, and that concludes my haul today of all my little thrifted goodies that I've gotten over the past couple months. As you can see, you can find all kinds of stuff to fill your home with that is inexpensive and good quality. A lot of these things, I think that if I bought them nowadays, like the mirror or the nightstands or a lot of this stuff, it would be a lot more expensive, brand new. And I like it because it's a little bit more unique than if I got it, you know, off the shelf at a regular store. So super excited about everything I got. I hope it inspires you to check out your thrift stores and kind of add that eclectic feel to your home. If you enjoyed this, please like my video. And if you want to see more videos from me, including DIYs and definitely more thrift store hauls, if you guys like this, I'd be happy to make more videos because I thrift a lot anyway, so might as well share it. So if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below what your favorite piece is or if you're into thrifting, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.